Hey everybody and happy new year to you. My name is Rich Taylor. My website is richtaylorphotography.com. I am a master photographer and editor and today I'd like to show you this very simple setup and how to edit this photo to create some magic. Let's begin. We selected this oversized book and we used one LED light. It's a small little light. They average from like $50 to about $200. The one I got was about $100 and it emits very very strong light so when you're setting it up the most important thing you want to watch out for are hot spots and especially blowouts on the face and you can see here i got a couple of hot spots you're gonna have it with this type of shoot because the light is so close to her and it's just super super bright so basically we took uh, painter's tape and we taped the led light to the center of the book and at the last minute i turned on my christmas tree it was a last minute thought and it added this beautiful bokeh behind her, natural bokeh, which was a good last minute decision. So the setup is very, very easy to do. And then we're going to get into some basic editing and then we're going to go into more moderate editing. The basic editing happens in Lightroom. I have all my settings already set here. I've done a Lightroom tutorials, um, so I'm not going to go into every single setting that I did in Lightroom. But what I can do is show you the before and after of this photo. This is the shot that I took, which it's very, very dark, and I just lightened it, added some orange to it, and um, yeah, looks beautiful. So let's take this into Photoshop and do some moderate editing to create some beautiful magic. Okay, now that we have our photo in Photoshop, there's a few things that I do initially just to start the image off. I go to Levels, I add in this levels adjustment layer and I adjust it to my preferences so I know I want to go heavy on the black because it's her face that's going to be glowing so I'm just going to bring that down so this is personal preferences just set it the way you see fit again for this image I'm going to go heavy on the black and I'm going to keep the midtones and the lights um, pretty much where they are because I don't want to start to get some hot spots on there I'm going to add in a little bit of vibrance. I stay away from saturation. I just don't feel it does a good job. I'm going to go to selective color. And I will add a little more red. And I'm going to add a little yellow into that. No, I'm actually going to pull back a little bit on that. I'm just going to go very slight on these levels. Yellow, I'm going to add some in because I got all these beautiful yellow lights in the background. And I'll leave it at that. I really don't have any greens or cyans or blues or magentas. Now the white, I normally try to control hot spots that are on the face. Now with this, the LED is such a strong, strong light that you're gonna get some blowouts or hot spots. I try to avoid blowouts, but hot spots I don't mind so much. So you can see I can kind of boost them up or I can take them away. Pull it down just so that these little hot spots even out a little bit. Uh, neutrals I sometimes play with, but on this one I'm not going to. And it's going to bring up those blacks a little bit. Not a little too much. Just a hair. Maybe right there. Now let's look at the before and then the after. Such minor adjustments make such a huge, huge, huge difference. Uh, it's a little too much on that black still. I'm going to come down. Yeah, right there. That looks nice. So I'm going to flatten my image. Next, I'm going to sharpen. Now, I have this action script that does a beautiful sharpening. But you can go here to filter and you can go to sharpen. And Smart Sharpen actually does a really good job. So we can go in there. And I normally go up to the eye and I just take a look at these lashes. And I see what the sharpening is doing on these lashes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. So I'm just going to say OK. When this is done, I'm going to dodge and burn. I learned this skill from a few different photographers. Um, it's actually an action script. I do have it to download, and I will put it in the description down there. But you hit play. Make sure that you're on your background. And it'll cause um, these four layers, which is going to be a dodge and burn and a black and white. Now, why do I have a black and white layer? because we can see highlights and darkness easier in black and white than in color. With this image, we already know what's going to be light and what's going to be dark. So I'm going to start on my high, actually. I'm going to use a soft brush of white and most important, 10% on the opacity. I'm going to make sure I have a soft brush. 
and I'm going to bring this down. See where that's at. And I'm going to raise a little bit, and I'm just going to start brushing, you know, a little more highlight into her. And this is going to cause contrast. So we'll do that. Again, I'm going to do a big brush and just do an overall so we can see the difference that it's doing already. It's really brightening up her face. I'm going to go to the low and I'm just going to start bringing some of these lows down. Now down here is her hand and the book. I'm going to crop that out. So even things like this uh, little thing here we can just start um, burning on and you can see it reduce. I can also just take black and color that in up over here and over here. Let me get rid of that and here. I'm going to go back to my high and I'm just going to start tapping in these little areas of bokeh. Again these lights are from the Christmas tree and all I'm doing is just making them stand out a little more by adding some brightness into them. I'm going to go to the very low and I'm going to start painting it here. Now again, I'll probably go back in with just black, um, but I might want to see a little detail from that corner of the tree, maybe even up here and down here a little bit. And I'm going to bring that up right about there. I'm going to get some contrast in her hair. Now this part of her hair I'm not happy with, so I will take care of that with my stamp tool. I'm going to go to my extreme high. This is going to add in more brightness than in the high layer. And I'm just going to bring her hair out just a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of this black and white layer. And now we can see it in color and we can see the difference that we're already making. And that is really getting there. Now I'm going to go back to the very low and I'm going to start burning in. Um, some darkness over here. It keeps my focal point here. So let's look at the before and after. And I am pretty happy with that. So I'm going to flatten it. And now I'm going to crop it because obviously I don't want this. I don't want her hands or seeing her shirt down there. So I'm going to crop it in. And I'm going to use a rule of thirds and just put her right there. Now we're still seeing some of her hands. So all I have to do is select my brush tool, select the background that's there, and make sure I'm at 100% on the opacity, and just brush that in. So I am liking how that's looking. I'm actually going to crop it in a little bit on this side. So I'm trying to keep her in the rule of thirds right there. Okay. So you can see we have some skin issues up on her forehead. I usually do frequency separation, but for this tutorial, I want to keep it a moderate edit. So I'm going to give you guys a third party application that you can purchase and add into Photoshop. It's called Portrait Pro. I haven't used this in a very long time because normally I would just do my frequency separation. But again, that's advanced editing and I want to keep this more on the moderate. So let's go into Portrait Pro. You can actually go in and sculpt it yourself. Going in here and reshaping it. But there are these presets. Um, let me see what the standard does. The standard's actually very nice. You can see it's doing a really good job on her forehead. There, all I'm really looking to do is uh, the skin smoothing. So I'm going to go in here and uh, let's see what general does. I don't need to smooth in the eyes. Let's see the intense. Now there is a major glow. So I can actually use that because this glow should really intensify her skin smoothness in there. So I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, I'm not overall happy with that. I still prefer frequency separation, but we're going to keep it. Okay, now we are back in Photoshop and you can see the difference. You can see Portrait Pro even changed my background a little bit, which I'm not really that happy with, but I can pull some of that color back. No big deal. Okay, now we have to add in our Fairyland brushes. I purchased these from Inveto. I will put the link below for anyone who would like to purchase these. 
Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make, let me just make a couple new layers and I'll go to layer one. And I'm going to select with my brush uh, this color because I like that color a lot and show it to me there. To do this is very simple. Uh, pick the size brush you want. And honestly, this is all done by hand. So each one that I would do would look a little different. Uh, that's a little too much. Let's bring this down and do it like that. That's nice. I'm going to go over this with a small brush, kind of in the same angle. And then maybe do a bigger brush coming from there. Okay, I like that. So that's pretty. I'm going to go to my next layer. I'm going to select a different brush. I'm going to go to Fairy Dust 5, see what that does. Okay, I like that. Bring that up a little bit creating that wonder. I'm going to kind of get a lighter brush just to separate a little bit. I'm going to create a new layer because I want it underneath these layers here. And I'm going to select a new brush and see how that comes out. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, um, this layer I did nothing with so I'm going to get rid of it. The opacity um, well, maybe that one actually looks good at 60%. Let's see what this one does. Now, I like that one bright because that's in the foreground. And that's in the foreground too. So I'm going to merge these together. I'm going to select my erase brush. Let's do a nice soft brush. And I'm going to start erasing this light off where the book is because it's coming out of the book so it's going to be behind the book and not in front okay and that's looking good I'm going to flatten that out and I'm going to do another dodge and burn and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the black I'm going to go to the extreme high and again on your on your brush make sure you go back to a soft brush for this I'm going to go at 10% on white and I'm going to start creating this glow that's coming from her right there. Let me see how that is. I like that. Okay, so that is a nice glow coming from the book right there. I'm going to flatten it. Because you got all these sparkles coming out, you want that to also be within the eyes. I'm going to select the yellow. I'm going to lighten it up a bit, create a new layer, and I'm going to add some catch light into her eyes. Right there. Let me just see how that looks. I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit because it's strong. I like that. I'm going to create a new layer and where this white is, because that's the white of the LED light. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring the opacity down just the hair. And I'm going to start creating different sizes. Just these little lights there. And I'll bring that opacity down just a little bit more. And I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Love that. That's beautiful. And I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to use my stamp tool. And I'm just going to stamp this section out just so it doesn't look like her hair is really big up there. And that is the basic look. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. It's rich at richtaylorphotography.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. I hope you enjoyed this and Happy New Year.